wedding planner Angela is a size 20 and is en route to the boutique with mum Alessandra and daughter Jasmine. She's six months away from marrying fiancé Safe. Being from a wedding planning background, uh, it, I'm very fussy and I'm very indecisive as well. Oh, you can ask my mum actually, <laughs> she'll tell you. <laughs> Hello Angela! Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> it's like the Kardashian family, they're all beautiful. I just need to know, is this mum and sister? Yeah, this is my mum and my daughter. Oh, your daughter? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even look old enough to have a daughter oh, of this age. Gosh. God, she looks good, that hair and that skin. Why was I last in the queue? Tell me, what is this image you've got in your head? Uh, you see, I... It's, I would like something quite flowy, but, you know, quite romantic and with a lot of bling on it as well. What about... <laughs> this is a lightweight organza. Um, Angela has always been indecisive. She's quite good at making decisions for everybody else, but not for herself. I think I've got in my head that I want to try something a bit more fitted on. Right, OK. How's that for fitted? I is like there... the shape of it, I think. Right. Sorry. Here's a fitted. Mm. Nice. That's nice. You don't sound too... Mm -mm. I am very unsure as to how this appointment is going to go and whether or not we'll have anything that Angela actually says, I like that. The thing that you've got in your mind, it's not here. I don't think I have anything specific in my mind, though. OK, Angela, how are we doing? Um, I picked this one out. <laughs> right. So, so just the one? Out. Yeah. So you've travelled all this <laughs> way today and you've just picked one dress? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was kind of expecting every single dress to be out. So the challenge is actually getting to find out what Angela really wants. I don't know if you're one of these girls that have dreamt of your wedding day since you was a child. Yes. I wanted something, you know, like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. Yeah. But I've never thought that would suit me, so I kind of never thought about it. OK. So, Why do um, you think you can't have that? You know, you have this image in your mind when you get married that you're going to have this perfect figure and, you know, you're going to be able to get the dress, you know, any dress that you want. But I just feel big. <laughs> Angela is absolutely stunning. She's kind of thinking she cannot pull that shape off. That is where I think the indecisiveness is coming from, because what she'd always thought she wanted, she actually thinks she can't have, but she totally can. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, I like oh, that. Oh, I like it. Do you like it? Ah, that's a tear, yes, methinks, yes. Yeah, I like this. I just thought, like, oh, my figure can't look like that. It's just, it looked really nice, and I was just quite taken back, actually. Don't look, like, huge in it. Those curves are insane in that dress. And no, you don't look big, you look like a curvy woman. Yes, I like this. I know you've got nothing to compare it to here, but mm. for the moment, we'll take like. <laughs> because when they were hanging out, there wasn't any likes. So, do you want to do another? 100%. Right, okay. let's do it then. I was willing to take their lead at this point. I just let them go with it and put my trust in them. Here we go. We got bling. Perfect. How's this feeling? Yes, it's good. OK. I want to see it. OK. OK, everybody, are we all ready? Oh. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. <laughs> it makes you look slim, I think. Does it? Yeah. So is this fitting the bill a bit more? Ticking more boxes? Yes, it is. I can't work you out. I, I can't work the face. I don't believe you. I, I don't believe you. Do you know you. what it is? I really liked the shape of the last one. Mm. But I feel more free in this one. If she's confused, I'm confused, Joe's confused, how are we ever going to move forward with this appointment? Hmm. 
Bride Marta has come back to the boutique for her final fitting after finding her dress six months ago. Open your eyes. But since her appointment, she's had a difficult few months. I had an accident, I fell down the stairs and I broke my ankle really badly. I had surgery. I'm still in crutches and I'm just thinking that this might be a bit of a problem. I want to try. Yeah, yes, yes, I want to see actually, once I wear the trainers, how I walk without the crutch. Marta's mum, Margarida, and sister Laura have flown in from Spain especially to see the dress. But one person who won't get to see it for four weeks is fiancé Juan Luis. I don't have idea about the dress. Nothing, nothing. I don't know how I will be reacting in that moment. Maybe I'm crying, maybe I am run away. <laughs> <laughs> it's the runaway groom instead of the runaway bride. Hello, Marta. Hello. How are you? Oh, my goodness, what's been going on? I fell down the stairs, I broke my leg, then I had surgery. Oh, you poor thing. So apart from your leg, how's everything else going? So the thing is, because this happened and the doctor said that it would help if I lost weight, so basically I've lost like four stone, more or less. Okay. <laughs> a bride falls in love with a dress for a reason and I don't want Marta to fall out of love with her wedding dress and start looking for another. So this is going to need altering, the bus cups are going to need altering, it's going to need bringing on the waist a bit. Okay, are you excited about yes, your family uh, seeing it? Yes, yes. Oh! It's going to be their first time, so yeah. When a bride comes in to choose her wedding dress, she usually brings mum. But for Marta, it wasn't possible for her mum to be here. So it's always a big concern on the reveal. Are the family going to love the dress? What's the mum going to think? Open your eyes. What are you all doing? They're so silly. It's a mole. Yes. What's mum saying, Malta? She says that she likes it very much, that it looks beautiful, and that it really makes me look very skinny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are skinny, though. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't understand what her mum was saying, or her sister, really, but I was getting all the thumbs up. Fantastic. Oh, I got that. You got that. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> are you still in love with it? Yes, yes, I'm still in love Absolutely. with it. Absolutely. It looked like my dress, but it looks so different because the way like my body has changed, just seeing it looks much better than it looked before and I'm really happy about it. So the dress, no one worries about the dress. It's just, it's gonna look perfect, but my walking, maybe it's not gonna be so perfect. I'm still a bit like unstable. Yeah. So I walk <laughs> like, I, I, it looks like I'm drunk. I'm not drunk, I promise. Right, okay. But I want to be able to walk without any help and to look fine and not, yeah. you know, like yeah. a zombie. I think Marta really wants the support for me and Joe to be there on the day to help her with the dress and give us some tips and some guidance. So absolutely we will be there. This is a little bit exciting. Angela, she's feeling very, very indecisive. Does she want bling? Does she want shape? I'm still not sure right now. Are we all ready? Mm -hmm. So, all together, open your eyes. Hmm. It's so beautiful. Nice. Yeah. That is really beautiful. Yeah. Do you like it? I do. Um, I prefer the other one. Come Which on. one? The last two. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Which one do you prefer? I, I really don't know. I'm so confused. I'm so confused with the, the first two. I'll tell you what you're confused with, the first one. Maybe it's the first and maybe with the option of a bit of bling. <laughs> I think I want to put the first one back on. I knew it. I yeah. knew it! <laughs> Her heart is with that fitted fishtail dress. So now I'm thinking, how can I get some bling to make it Angela's dress? Just open your eyes for a second, Angela, and look. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want this dress. Ooh! 
Hold on a minute. I thought, you, I thought that you were really indecisive. Well, go on, say it again. Yeah, <laughs> I on. want this dress. I just knew. I just knew it was the one. Um, with a bit of bling on there and the veil, I thought, wow, they look good. Yeah, I like this dress. Like? I like. love this dress. That's more like it. We got there in the end. Yes, we did. <laughs> I'm a great believer that when you've found a dress and you're in the dress, you know it's the dress. So even the most indecisive brides can become very decisive like that. Size 22 Joanne is on her way to the boutique with mum Sharon and bridesmaid Katie. In eight months' time, she marries fiancé Mark, but is so unhappy with her shape, she can't even look at her own reflection. After I had my second baby, that's when I started just hanging a towel over the mirror. So when I got engaged and then thought about having to buy a dress, alarm bells were going off. So coming here today, I'm, you know, apprehensive about it. Hi, Joanne. Come in. Hi. How are you feeling, ladies? Excited. Yeah, excited. excited. Oh, I like that. Excited, yeah. <laughs> nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so have you been shopping before for a dress? Uh, yeah. Um, I didn't have a good experience, to be honest. The lady initially said, oh, you know, why don't you go away and lose some weight and then come back in a few months' time? <gasps> And so. you cross her off. And I never went back shop. since. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joanne, that's awful. Yeah. So that's put you off the whole. Yeah, I've not been again. That's not how it's meant to be. You're meant to be going out, finding your dress, being happy with your family, and having laughs and giggles. So we've got to try and turn this around. I need for her to see herself in a different light. So any problem areas you totally want to avoid or disguise? I want to try and disguise my tum. <laughs> right. I am a bit top heavy, so I don't want to be sort of. You don't want to draw out. attention. Yeah. yeah. I'm not body confident at all. I don't even own a full length mirror in the house so that I don't get a glimpse of my, my body. I think more than anything, her confidence has taken a real hit oh, from the other shop. So absolutely. I kind of think we've got to make up for that and some. Yeah. So and she's like, oh, these dresses so I think we're kind of part of the way there because we've got dresses for her to try. Are you ready to do it? Absolutely yeah. Oh, <laughs> follow me. You're very gentle Elle. Oh thank you my peach well you're a delicate object. <laughs> what are you like day to day? I hide behind this persona of bubbly and happy and you know I take the mick out of myself a little bit, really. Yeah. But it's more of a front. You know, Mark knows the true sort of extent of how much my weight bothers me, really. And how much does it bother you? It bothers me every day, but... To what extent? Just makes me feel upset and sad and cross with myself and angry, which makes me harder on myself then. There are people that love you. Yeah. You just got to learn to love yourself. Even when she's passing shops and she can see a reflection, she always, she always tends to turn the other way, and that's a shame because she's so beautiful inside yeah. and out, she isn't is. she? She's she is. a beautiful person. So if she got the dress of her dreams today, it would be yeah. wonderful. God, look at that! Just look at that. I haven't looked in a full-length mirror for a long time. Don't think I'd seen my waist for many years. OK, then. Open your eyes. Oh, my God. Look at your little waist. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like that. That's lovely. Yeah, it is nice. Isn't it? What about the girl standing in the dress, by the way? She looks all right, doesn't she? That's a start. Oh, my God. Obviously, this isn't the one. We can see that because of the bust, but... Yeah. Let's do another. Use those girls and get another yeah. one on. <laughs> Let's do another. This would fit lovely, I think, and would be really flattering. And it's got bling. Yeah, exactly. It was really difficult looking in the mirror, but then I thought, no, I need to just get over this and just accept that, you know, I am nice and I am pretty and, you know, not be so hard on myself. Open your eyes. 
Oh, I like it. I love that. Oh, you look yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Look at your little waist and everything's tucked in. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Definitely. Oh, my what? God. Yeah. No, it is. They look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. Wait, How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel like I look nice. You look bloody amazing. Look in the mirror. Look. This isn't the dress. This is you. This is the whole package. I do love it. I honestly just could not believe that I looked so pretty and I could just imagine myself just walking down the aisle and Mark seeing me in that dress. Just made me feel really, really confident. Oh. <laughs> I love you. Love you. <laughs> I think that she's come a long way today. Not only has she found her dress, but she can also look in the mirror and like what she sees. That's thank fabulous. you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> the final preparations are taking place for Marta and Juan's wedding. My ankle's a bit sore this morning, and that's why I have it up and resting it just right before I have to get my wedding dress on. To help get her into that frock and make sure she's fully prepared on her big day are Joe and Al. Having broken her ankle so badly and she hasn't sort of felt that she's able to walk properly since. Mm. So, you know, walking down the aisle is huge. Hi. Hello! Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Give me a little hug. You? Oh, you're looking good fabulous. Good to see you, thank you. Hello, Hi. half the woman you were. <laughs> Hi. How's your ankle? Mm, it's not 100% yet. It's still quite painful. My balance is not so great. Listen, I haven't got good balance and I haven't got broken legs. So. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's perfect. Yes. No, it's my size. <laughs> it is your size now. Are you that pleased? It looks amazing. Yeah, very pleased, very pleased. I'm really happy. Should we go and do some walking? Yes, let's yes, go yes. practice. See how you feel. I'm hoping that I can at least walk down the altar without my crutches and maybe with my dad's help. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Wow. Uh... Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marta, I just want to watch you walking. So, walk back towards yes, me. Yes, I'm walking back to us. Yes, don't know me. Whichever is your better foot, lead with that one. So it's better for me to go like this. That's it. <laughs> I, keep, I know I can do it like that. But, but you're going to be holding your flowers. Oh, yeah, true. Right? The weight of the flowers will balance you. The adrenaline will be absolutely coursing through her veins. She won't feel anything. She'll just want to get from A to B. I just want to see the Marta's dress because I think it will be beautiful and amazing and, uh, and very nervous for this moment. Juan, <laughs> he doesn't know anything about the dress. We haven't told him anything. And I'm hoping for him to have like a big reaction to it. Oh my God, when I see Marta, it was amazing. She's beautiful and more with this dress. And his reaction was really sweet. He got very, very emotional because I don't know if he was expecting him to look so beautiful. Juan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, affection and respect, now and always. <sighs> You may kiss your wife. <laughs> the dress was uh, spectacular, amazing. I can't describe. I didn't really think about my walking or anything. I didn't have time, I think, with all the emotions and everything. So it was just perfect. Seeing Marta in the dress today, she looks absolutely incredible. She's so gorgeous. She's a happy, bubbly bride. You know what? She's nailed it.
size 26 Rhiannon has traveled over 450 miles from Scotland with cousin Bronte and bridesmaid Jess. So are you excited? I'm actually quite nervous. All right, okay. Just because I've left it so late. With just three months to go until she marries Mike, she's in desperate need of a dress. If I don't find a dress today, it's going to be quite gutting. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Hello, Rihanna. Hello. 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 So you haven't got long till the wedding. How comes you've left the dress quite last minute? We have we been dress shopping yeah, and it's just not been great. It's just not been what we want. So it gets to a point and I think, I'll just wear anything. No, no but, you won't. No, exactly. Mm -mm. People are going to always make comments, whether you're small, you're tall, you're fat, you're thin, they're always going to judge you. So what's the point? I think life is too short not to be happy. So tell me, how are the wedding plans going? So I'm a really quite confident person. I'm not the sort of person that lets people's opinions take the better of me. I'm really, really not like that. And if I'm going to spend a certain amount of money on a dress, I want as many as people possible to see Hell it. Oh yes. Yes. So the hotel and the chambers is only about three minute walk. So if I walk down through the town, so as much people can see me as possible, that would be lovely. Go on, girl. She's not backwards in coming forwards. That girl is full of confidence, and I admire her for that. In an ideal world, what would your perfect dress be? I would like it to be a princessy type, flowy dress, and I would like a bit of a train. There we go. Would be this one. I think she's a bit panicky that if she doesn't find something today, then she's kind of stuck. Oh, that's nice. We don't want her to settle for something that she thinks it's, it's fine. I had to talk her out of buying a, a dress from the internet yeah. where you basically just put in your measurements and it gets delivered from China. And I was like, that's never going to be a fairy tale ending. Do you not like it? I don't know if I like it or not. Oh, I like that. I don't know. If we are her last resort, then she's banking everything on, coming here, finding a dress, falling in love with it and taking it home. You come across as such a confident girl, Rhiannon. My mum has always been quite good at saying, don't think what other people think. We just don't care what people thought of us because it's the best way to be. If you're not happy, then what's the point? That's so refreshing yeah. to hear. The pressure is on. I feel like we have to send her out the door with a dress today. So this is the first dress you've had on. How's it feeling? Amazing at the moment. If all dresses were like this, it would be great. <laughs> so I'm excited just to see what I actually look like. Open your eyes. Oh. Oh. I like that. I love it. Do you? Do you? you? Yeah. Do you? I'm really not a huge fan. No? No. no. Oh, I like it. So we're in a bit of a quandary because you're loving but your friends yeah. aren't. I just think it's really, really plain. It's not Rhiannon, because Rhiannon's far from plain, so putting her in a plain dress, just it didn't fit right, yeah. I think. This is per spanner in the works, isn't it? I this know, one. I know. When we set up this boutique, it was set up as a safe place for brides to come. Size 20 Laura is marrying Matthew in 14 months' time, but so far she's been unable to even try a wedding dress on. I've been into a few shops um, and they just look at me and say, we can squeeze you into it, but I don't want to be squeezed into a dress. So this is an opportunity for me to actually put a wedding dress on and actually look at myself in the mirror and it looks like how it's going to look on the day. To hold her hand at today's appointment, she's brought her mum, Jackie, and sister, Rebecca. I think Laura's chosen to come here because um, she's with people that have been there and that will understand her. It's going to be one special day, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, Laura. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, we're Hi. all bright and babbling, aren't we? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What brings you to I think to see us? Well, being a bigger person, I struggle buying wedding dresses. They just can't cater for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Most wedding um, dresses are till 14, not, 16, aren't but they? Like, it's like the sample dresses. They were like, oh, we can squeeze you into it and see what you look. No, I don't want to be squeezed yeah. into a dress. Thank yeah. you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> no. Things coming out here, there. You don't really know what you look like when you squeezed into a dress. Yes, indeed. Especially so, when they just hang around your neck on a hanger suit. Yes. But you've never even done that, We've have not you? Even not tried. No, because I dresses. just refuse to squeeze so into a dress. So you haven't had a wedding dress because on Because I don't, I don't yeah. want to squeeze into no, it. No, that be... Listen, fate is what it is, and that's why you're here today. That is why I'm here today. So we can help Fighting. you. <laughs> you know best. Laura is really excited to be here right now. Yes. Yeah, I like that one. I love that one. But sometimes brides come through the door and they wear their poker face. OK, how are we doing, Laura? Really well. OK. Really well. This one? Is my absolute favourite. <gasps> is it? Yeah. But then... <laughs> Beautiful. Well, let's get some dresses on, then. Ooh, Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a little, that's a little <laughs> bit. Oh, time has come. Have all yours. <laughs> a little strap there. You seem so excited to be here today, Laura. I am. Are you a girl that loves shopping? Um. Yes and no. Okay. I, I, I love... Shopping for other people that can fit in clothes. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I know the style I like, but it doesn't suit me. I'm wearing baggy clothes, um, jumpers that are bigger because I want to hide it away. Why do you want to hide away? Because I'm fat. Because oh, I'm fat. You're beautiful. But I don't feel like that. I can totally connect with Laura right now. When the bride has no confidence, it gets me because I've been to that place and it's not a nice place to be. It's about turning that around. I know it's how we feel, but you're beautiful. You are such a stunning girl. Everyone tells me all the time, like, oh, you're beautiful. For a bigger girl, you're beautiful. But why does it have to be for a bigger girl? To do something like this for me is one step out of my league because it's all on me and I'm not used to things being all about me and it just, it scares me because I don't like the way I look. Are you ready? Yeah. Open your eyes. Open them. Oh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I think it's lovely. Blown away the fact that, like, it is made for a bigger person. Mm. But I can't hide the fact that it's got no sparkle. Your face isn't giving me what I want right <laughs> now. I just, yeah, she still looks absolutely beautiful. Doesn't she yeah. look she does. amazing? She looks absolutely gorgeous. Incredible. Yeah. I think I want to try on my favourite dress. Let's do it. Okay. I see. Sometimes brides are so shocked by what they see in the mirror, there's almost no reaction. It's the first dress. We need a comparison, so we need to get another dress on. Still breathing. You're still with adjust, us. Adjust. You're still with us. Adjust. Listen, don't worry about that. We're we're all qualified in mouth to mouth. I want to get a wedding dress that makes me feel beautiful inside and out. I want to look at myself and think I'm not a fat person. I'm a beautiful bride that is allowed to get married to the man she loves, and that's how I want to feel when I put a dress on. Okay, ladies, open your eyes. I don't want to now. Yes, you do. You do. You really do. <gasps> wow. Oh, my God. Just, uh, yeah. Wow. Laura. Why have I got teary eyes? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I look kind of skinny. <laughs> I look sparkly. Oh, She's wow. just perfect, isn't she? Yeah, it's perfect. Why does a dress make you, like, get this... Stunning. Fuzzy that feeling. Like, I just I think I look pretty. You look amazing. But I don't look fat. All my life, I've felt like people can't accept me for me, but words can't describe how happy and beautiful I actually feel in that dress. I was proud to hear her say these words because that's what she is. She is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> She's speechless. We've done a real 360 here. We've gone from tears of sadness to tears of joy. We have made Laura see herself in a different light. 
This is what we wanted. This is the dress for her. She's got a dress! Yeah. Woo! So if that was just raised up a bit to cut me off there, I think it'd be perfect. Rhiannon's only got a matter of weeks until her wedding. It's literally got to be a dress that she can take home today. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not way enough. OK. Yes. That puts a lot of pressure on myself and Joe. I would like Rhiannon to walk out with a dress today. I want to make it worth her while. Fabulous. <laughs> I can already see this dress being paraded around the streets of Perth. <laughs> <laughs> OK, are we ready, ladies? Yes. OK, open your eyes. Oh, Rihanna. Oh, my. Oh, you're stunning. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely, mm, isn't it? It's beautiful. So nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. When I opened my eyes to look at the dress, I was a bit gobsmacked because I'd never seen myself look like that before. It looks right, it looks perfect, it fits me like a glove. It it does, absolutely like, yeah. does. I'm getting married! Wow, yeah. oh, you're getting married! <laughs> Be walking down the streets of Perth, people just being like, oh, there she is, waving. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> That dress will be walked around the streets of Perth, and I hope I'm there to witness it. It's very common for a bride to come in and say, cannot possibly have a strapless dress because of the girls. But there's nothing more liberating, though, than being able to wear a dress without a bra. Listen, first thing I do when I walk in the door is take my bra off, that's it, I'm home. But for bride-to-be Laura, going without her size 42J bra on her wedding day would be her worst nightmare. Even though I've always had a big breast, even from a younger age, three children later, they're not quite where they used to be. Laura's wedding to Dean is over a year away, and to help her today, she's brought along bridesmaids Claire and Vicky. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. What would your perfect dress be? Whatever dress that I buy, I need to be able to wear a bra. OK. I need to keep health and safety under control. Health and safety? What's, where's that come from? Because if the bra comes off, they're a trip hazard. <laughs> oh, I like <laughs> that, yeah. I like that. Laura's always had big boobs. <laughs> if you ever wonder who you're talking about, it's Laura with, with the, the boobs. boobs. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That one's lovely. I've it's not bad. seen a dress like that. How would that look with a bra on underneath? This is the collection that you wouldn't need to wear a bra with. We have this fabulous corset tree. So this is what holds you in the dress. Right. Not this. So you quite like this, then? Yes, I think that one's beautiful. Laura jokes about this bust that she's got. But do you know what? She's taken this seriously, and actually I can see how much it means to her. My nerves are shot and my mouth's <laughs> gone dead dry, but definitely this one. <laughs> this one! <laughs> OK, so you're ready to do this? Yes, let's go. Let's put some dresses on. Come with me. So this is a really big thing for you, yeah. this wedding day. I've found the person that I can just be myself around. The dress is important. Um, I've waited a long time to get married to Dean. I want to feel beautiful and look at for Dean as well. I want him to have that moment where he turns around and looks at me and is like, oh, my God. OK, ladies, open Ready? your eyes. <laughs> I expected it to be much more amazing, but it's not. I think it makes me look bigger. Yeah, it's making your boobs come out and your belly come out almost. I feel like one of them toilet roll things <laughs> as well, you know, what your nan used to have. When I first see myself in the dress, I thought, wow, the dress is lovely. And then I see myself in the dress and I was like, oh. No, I didn't think she looked like a toilet roll holder at all. Absolutely not. But it's how she felt. So this is the built-in bra. Although I have left your bra on for the time being, I'm not going to get you completely naked, cos that might tip you over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
to detract attention away from a bust, you have to kind of not have a, for example, plunging neckline where the girls are half out, half in. In a dress that's kind of a high rise, you know, maybe with a modesty panel, that's always really good for disguising and keeping the girls under control, shall we say. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Open your eyes. Oh, oh beautiful. beautiful. You look amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like a big frumpy mess in a, in a massive dress, which is what a for. Oh. The dress looked lovely. It fitted me. I thought it was very flattering. Um, and it, yeah, it got me quite emotional. I'm getting quite emotional now thinking about it. The dress is lovely. It doesn't make me look like big or anything like that. It's flattering, isn't it? Yeah. That's the feeling that you hope for when you go and try on a wedding dress or when you find the dress that you think is the one for you. I can't breathe, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing on your wedding day is totally overrated. <laughs> the only thing that we wish for when a bride comes here is that they leave with a more positive attitude, with a bit more confidence, with the realisation that, you know what, there is a dress out there for me. In Perth, Scotland, it's the morning of Rhiannon and Mike's big day. Today is just everything for me. Um, Rhiannon has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. These last three and a half years have been the most incredible of my life. But for Rhiannon, there's already been a wedding day disaster. I've been stressed since about 5 p.m. yesterday. I ordered Jess and Bronte's bridesmaids dresses at two different times, so uh, <laughs> I've only just seen them together today. So they're two different colors, but hey <laughs> At the moment, I'm a bit low. Rhiannon's normally high spirits may have taken a knock, but help is at hand. Thank you. So we're just here to follow the procession through the street. Maybe drum up a bit of support. Yeah. Hello, Rhiannon. Hello. 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 Rhiannon, how are you feeling? What's going on? My bridesmaid's dresses, they're not the same colour. The thing is, if something's gone wrong, only you know that it's gone wrong. I know, exactly. Are you still planning on walking through the street? Why not? Why not? Nice weather. Should we do it? Yay! 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 Whoop, 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 whoop. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident, I'm, I'm raring to go. You look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Have you got any men in kilts there? Yes, so we're going full on tradition. We've also got Davy the Piper piping me in as well. Oh, how lovely. I have to say, I do love a pair of pipes. Rhiannon is very body positive mm -hmm. and it's such a refreshing change to have a bride who is loud, proud and just wants to show it off. She owned it. Uh, she said she was going to do it in true Scottish style and that is what she done. Yes, she did. Very proud. Right. Oh, yeah. Right, we're good to go. We've got to get you down the aisle then. Yes. to love you always. I take you to be my soulmate. For the whole of our life together. Whole of our life together. You're now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I cried, he cried. No, 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 yeah. She looks amazing. I didn't expect it to be anything other than absolutely incredible, but she's taken my breath away. She looks amazing, and the fact that she's my wife blows my mind, and I'm speech almost speechless. Oh, almost speechless. 
she rocked it. Mm. And you know what? His face... Priceless. Yeah, was a picture. Yeah.